Hello and welcome back. In this tutorial, we are going to simulate and visualize a differential drive robot using Python. As you see in the screen, the differential drive robot can be controlled to perform many maneuvers that allows it to move in the environment, either controlled manually by the user using keyboard strokes, or we can use path planning algorithms like the one we simulated in a previous video to navigate the map and avoid obstacles autonomously. Depending on the application, one can do either of these ideas. Moreover, the concepts of this project can be used in game development to make more realistic movements. So simply, we are going to convert this kinematic model of the differential drive robot to a working simulation and visualization. The differential drive vehicles work exactly as its name suggests. The difference between the velocity of the left wheel and the right wheel determines the heading or the orientation of the robot. In the case when the velocities are the same, the movement will be in a straight line. But if you want to head the left, you have to increase the speed of the right wheels in comparison with the left ones that will create a rotation with a radius proportional to this amount. The differential drive is useful in rotations because it allows you to rotate the vehicle in place just by moving the left wheels and the right wheels in opposite directions, as we see here. Or you can set one wheel speed to zero in order to rotate around that wheel. Now, it's time to discuss some implementation details and make preparations before we write any code. The Python module Pygame makes our lives easier by providing the tools to build such a simulation. Of course, we can do this using OpenCV, but I think that Pygame does a great job in simplifying any tasks that will be otherwise needlessly complicated. One way to install the Pygame module is to open the terminal and type the, co the command pip install Pygame. This will only take few seconds. If you are using PyCharm, then simply go to the settings, then project, then project interpreter, then you can click the plus sign in the side here and type Pygame in the search bar and install it. We also need a picture of the robot we are going to use, so I made this PNG image file using Photoshop. I'll put the link in the descriptions. You can download it this way, unless if you want to make your own design, then just go for it, it should be easy enough. I will now address few remarks about the implementation of this project. First of all, is the difference between the real-world global coordinates frame and the screen coordinates frame. The screen coordinates origins in the upper left corner, which means that the y-axis is pointing downwards if you compare it with the global coordinates frame, and this will cause some confusion with the orientations and the translations compared to the real-world project. We will see how to fix this when we implement our code. Also, the speed in the real world is expressed in meters per second in the international system of units. But since we are working with images which use pixels, then we will have to convert the speed to pixels per second. So this is it for this video. In the next video, we will write the code for this project. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like and share if you like the content, and then let us know your suggestions in the comment section down below. Goodbye, see you next time.